pretty cool. How does it do that? The way this eraser is able to stick to the board like that is it actually has a magnet built inside it. Pretty neat. What is a magnet? What do we use magnets for? Magnets are all around us. These little clips have magnets on them. It allows us to hang things up. You might have magnets around your house. You might have magnets hanging on a refrigerator, maybe stuck to a, a bulletin board, or your teacher might have them in the classroom to hold things to their whiteboard. Maybe clips, whoops, or hooks, or just little dots. All magnets are made up of two poles, both a north pole and a south pole. These poles emit a magnetic field, basically a force that comes out of both sides of them. Now this force is invisible. We can't see it with our own eyes, but it's there. So the south pole sends out a south field, just like this here. And the north sends out a north field. Now what does that mean for our magnets? It means that the north field and the south field are both reaching out for the other field. So our north field is looking for some south field to attract to, and our south field is looking for a north field. This can be demonstrated with a horseshoe magnet and a bar magnet. Here's my horseshoe magnet, and you can see it's labeled with a north pole and a south pole. Now this one is not labeled, but we know that our north pole wants to be attracted to the south pole of this bar magnet. So let's find out. Let's put this here and look, it's attracted to it. So we can assume that this is the south pole of the bar magnet. If I flip it over and try and do a north pole to a north pole, it won't hang on because the north pole is attracted to the south pole and the south pole is attracted to the north pole. With some magnets, this magnetic field is so strong. If I take these two magnets here, you can see this one's a green and purple magnet with one of its fields green, one of them purple, and this one's a blue and yellow. And if I put them together, you can see that these are the same field. It's either a north and a north or a south and a south. But there's no way to get them to hang out with each other. If I really squeeze them together, they'll actually pop it off. Now, if I put it together with the blue and the purple, these are opposing. So it must be a north and a south, and they really want to be together. Where if I flip it over, now it's the same pole, and they won't stay together. Let's see if we can shoot it up one more time. Boom! And then I put it, and they stick. Magnets are found in all kinds of everyday objects, like these two compasses. These compasses use magnets to determine the north and south pole of the Earth. Watch what happens if I introduce my own magnet to disrupt that field. You can see as I bring the magnet close, they're both attracted to my magnetic field. If I flip it, it'll flip them over and they'll be attracted to the opposite end. As I pull it through, they follow them. You can see that this magnet has a much stronger magnetic field than the Earth. What do we mean when, some, when we say something is magnetic? We mean that it will attract or pull closer to a magnet. I have some staples in my hand. Do we think these are going to be magnetic? Let me hear you. All right, let's try it out. Look at that, magnetic. I laid some objects out on the table. Let's try and think which objects we think will be magnetic or will attract or repel to that magnetic field we talked about earlier. We have a brownie, some sunglasses, a paper clip, some metal scissors, a pencil, some post-it notes, and a pen. Let's go around. Let's start with the brownie first. Do we think it's gonna be magnetic? 
Nope, the brownie is not magnetic. Now how about the sunglasses? The sunglasses are not magnetic. How about my paper clip? Wow, did you see that? My paper clip is definitely magnetic. How about the pencil? Nope, not magnetic. Post-it notes? Not on my pen either. Let's try the scissors. Definitely magnetic. What do you think after looking at all these objects? What makes an object magnetic? My pen, my post-it note, my pencil, my brownie, and my sunglasses were not magnetic. My scissors and my paper clip were. Let's go over what we've learned so far about magnets. If an object reacts to a magnet or interacts with it, it's called magnetic. And if an object is magnetic, it can either attract or be pulled closer to a magnet or repel or push away from a magnet. I'm definitely attracted to magnets. <laughs> See what I did there?